This is my review of the REI 2 Plus Half Dome Tent. A lot of uh, tent reviews are, you know, in backyards or whatever. We are at 10,000 feet in the Lagarita Wilderness and uh, we've been camping in this tent for a week. It's the 2018 version of the tent. I say that just because they do change a little bit each year and uh, this tent has just a few updates. And Ours is loaded with gear. We got two people and a dog out for seven days. So anyway, here's a walk around the tent. Um, pros and cons of the tent I'm going to be going through. Uh, one of the cons is that the tent does not come with uh, 10 stakes. It comes with 8. So uh, you need a couple additional stakes if you're going to buy this tent. And uh, these tie outs will make it a lot better but it comes with 8 stakes. The other thing is that these stakes, I'll show you here, um, I bought extra. Uh, nice lightweight stakes. Uh, the tent actually comes with really kind of crappy aluminum stakes. So one thing to do if you buy this tent is to get some new stakes, lightweight stakes. Uh, the half dome, this is our third half dome tent and this guy still has these breather windows that you can flip up like that. Let me show you how the vestibule works. All right, so one of the design modifications they made in this tent was to bring out the vestibule closure on this side. So the openings on the front here. Um, it's kind of cool, but it means that you need a stake out here. So one stake for that part of the vestibule and one right here. So it's kind of like a pro and a con. It's a nice vestibule, but the con is that it um, takes an extra stake. Uh, now one of the reasons I really love these REI tents is they just pay a lot of attention to de detail. Um, I had a uh, North Face tent that used like buckles for these, but these have dedicated little plastic fobs. You can roll this back to here or to this point, so that's nice. And I'm going to open up the, rain, the uh, bug fly here. And let me show you how the bug fly works. It actually stuffs into a pocket up here. And in my experience, there's almost no times when you're gonna actually put the bug fly up there because you're gonna need it. But in the rare occasion that you don't have bugs, um, it's nice to have a little pocket up there. Okay, otherwise, inside the tent, you can see we've got um, two people. We're sleeping with the dog in the middle. We've got plenty of room. It's not a three or four person tent though. Definitely two people. You've got your pouches up on top. Um, the original half dome, these were just a big single pouch but they sewed some dividers in here. Makes it nice for little things like glasses. Big stuff does not fit in these pockets. You've gotta put the big stuff in the side pockets, but it has ample room. So we've got four big side pockets, extra room on top. And if you wanna tie a line, you can do so from here over to there. And then a couple other things I would mention, uh, the rain fly in this tent is uh, symmetrical. So you have your door here that comes out this direction and your door that comes out this direction. That means on a really hot day, this end of the tent has nice wind flow, air flow, and this end of the tent actually backs up a little bit and gets a little bit warm. So if it was asymmetrical with the door over here, you might get more of a cross breeze. Small point, but you do notice it if you lounge out in the tent during the day. Now I'm gonna show you this. Um, this is a look at the pole system on this tent and it looks almost identical to the old uh, half dome tents, REI half dome tents, but this is a single pole system. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poles all coming together and I'll show you when you disassemble this, they all come together and they don't separate. So uh, the bummer about the pole system, the total bummer about the pole system is that it just doesn't pack very flat. So if you're gonna be sliding this, these poles in your pack, if you're backpacking, it's just a little bit cumbersome. It's not the best. Uh, the, the plus on the pole system is that it's simple. You just kind of open it up. It's a big spider of poles. It's hard to lose poles because they're all connected in one pole system. All right, so final thoughts on the Half Dome 2 Plus tent from 2018. Uh, it's an awesome tent. It's a five pound tent, five pound or so tent, so it's a little bit heavier than some of the ultralight tents. But if you've checked out my channel before, you know that I've had some trouble 
with uh, the ultralight tents. Like they're not always super water resistant and they just don't uh, resist the weather as well as this REI tent. So I'm really kind of sold on REI tents. They're also super cheap, like way cheaper than a Marmot or Big Bertha or a lot of those other tents. So I like the REI stuff. It has a good profile. So overall, I would say it's pretty good. I like the updates this year. There's just a couple negatives. The main negative I have are just that those poles don't pack perfectly flat. All right, thanks for checking out the channel. I do have uh, other videos about backpacking, camp food and stuff like that. And big thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and especially commenting down below. Mm -hmm.